Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert. So, um, I did that video on the uh, the boat lift, um, the scan data with the SX-10, and I just kind of want to follow up because I, I put a video on my Instagram, and by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram or on Facebook, it's Surveying with Robert on Instagram, Surveying with Robert on Facebook. Sometimes I post some stuff on there, you guys need to check it out. And um, if you want to follow my LinkedIn profile, it's just under Robert Martin. So um, you can find me on there. Can't miss me, I'm the guy with the horse. So um, I just want to kind of follow up because what I did was I sent this data set um, to a lady. She had, she had hit me up on um, uh, LinkedIn and it's called RevitCAD. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm gonna send this boat dock to them and get them to build it in a 3D model so I can send it to my buddy so that um, he could use it with his survey data, right? So, send it off. Uh, if you watch the Instagram video, I told you guys, it, they charged me $60 to build this um, this boat lift and to, to create a 3D model to bring into AutoCAD. Uh, what's funny about that is the fact that international wiring charges, because they wanted me to wire transfer the money, International wiring charges are 75 bucks, so it cost me more to send the money than it did to get it done. Isn't that crazy? Next time I'll think I'll stack it up before I try that one. But I thought this was really cool. I don't really believe 3D models are something surveyors need to be concerning themselves with. Um, I think extracting the data out of the SX10 data is probably the most important, you know, like uh, using the cutting planes and stuff like I've showed you guys. So, uh, I did went ahead and did this 3D model just because this is probably going to end up in court. And I thought that 3D model would really kind of bring everything together uh, in this particular scenario. Um, if you're doing a factory or you're doing um, whatever, you know, or, or a survey on a house, you don't need a 3D model for that. But using the SX-10 to get all the data... So you can create the survey. I think that's the most important for surveyors. But every once in a while, you have this wild thing, right? So my thought was, you guys don't need to build, know how to build a 3D model. You just need to understand how to send it off to somebody so they can build it for you. So um, today, I thought I would talk about that. And I'd also talk a little bit about the R12i. I don't know if, you can, if it's focusing on that or not. If you can see it, but this is the R12i. I've got it. I'm building a video on it this weekend. This is our, um, what, Labor Day weekend? So um, I'm going to do some stuff with that and I'll be showing you guys that a little bit later on. But um, man, right now, first things first. So I've got pulled up on the computer. I've got the um, TBC with the scan in it. So let's look at um, at this real quick. Okay. So I went into the cutting plane and I cut a whole bunch of slices so I could show those pilings. And I was actually going to build a 3D model myself when I got the bright idea. I just send it off and let somebody else do it. Mm. So. Let me see if I can figure out, let me go over here. Actually, let me make this a little bit wider so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go from there all the way down to there. I'm gonna turn all that off. Okay, so now if I go to boat and turn it off, um, if I turn the lift off, I go up here, turn my pilings off, and okay default off okay so now you can see the boat dock so this is a restaurant back here behind these are other boats um and this is where this thing is parked at right so let's go and i'm going to show you um let me think where or did i even bring it in i may not even have it in here right now so 
drill plans, piling points, roof. No, I don't. So let me grab it over here. And let's bring it in. I guess I brought it in. I just didn't save it. So this is an IFC model. Check that out. So this is a, an IFC model. So I asked them to send me one because I didn't realize that I could actually export an IFC model out of um, Civil 3D. So I had them build this for me. They built it. They sent it to me. I brought it into um, Civil 3D. And then what I realized was they didn't georeference it. So I emailed them back and I said, would you please georeference this back to the point cloud? So they did. So now the... 3D model is actually georeferenced. So this is an IFC drawing, which is what, um, and as you can see, there's the, let me, uh, let me make the point cloud, those points a little bit bigger for you. So you can kind of see what's going on here. Come on, let's do a medium, see if that helps. How about we do a large, does that, okay. Now we can see them a little bit better. So you can see, I mean, I think they did a pretty decent job with it. Um, you know, is this something I'd want to use to survey off of? Probably not. I probably wouldn't check, really, really want to trust it unless I just really went down and, and looked at it. I probably would be a little bit leery of it. Um, but, man, as far as um, your clients go, and in this case... Um, with um, the way this is working out here because uh, it's going to be in a court case. I, I think I explained to you guys that this post right here was the controlling uh, monument, we'll say, and, uh, and how this thing was supposed to be built. And it wasn't built in the correct place. But if you were in court or something, I could see where this would be, you know, pretty powerful um, image if you needed to use it. Um, and like I said, it comes over in Civil 3D, right? So um, I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to kind of share this with you guys today. So let's, uh, let's do this. Here is our boat lift in a 3D world. Um, as you can see, I mean, not bad for 60 bucks, right? So um, there's my model. So let's bring in my point cloud. And there's my point cloud. So as you can tell, <clears throat> this uh, point cloud and this 3D model are georeferenced together. You know, if we get down here and start looking at um, the way they built this, I mean, I'm, I'm, believe, I'm actually pretty impressed. I mean, I thought this was a, for what I needed, I thought this was perfect. So I was really impressed because this really represents what this thing looked like. So, um, I was pretty tickled with it, you know. I mean, I can see, you know, like right there, seems like there's something going on as I scroll down through here. Um, whoops, went too far out, didn't I? So, um, you know, to me, the measurements that are going to hold are from the point cloud, not from this 3D model. But for a visual representation, in this case, maybe in court, I think this would be a home run. I really do. Um, if you as a surveyor, I mean, this, you know, I mean, it's not perfect. See that? It's not perfect, but I am pretty impressed with um, on what they got on here. So let's um, let's go to point cloud, point size. Let's step this point size up just a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. And then also, let's go to um, intensity so we can really see what's going on here. So, is it perfect? By no means. But if you look, neither is this boat lift. See how that board is bent? So, I'm guessing when they 3D modeled this thing, they couldn't get it exactly perfect because that 3D model is not going to let them bend it around like that. So. Uh, I'm not going to complain. I think it looks really great. I think that uh, they got it probably about as close as they possibly could, considering what they had to work with. Um, and I think it looks pretty amazing myself. So, I mean, keeping in mind, we're, we're drilling. Unless I zoom out too far. 
we're drilling really drilling down on this thing but uh, I am a little disappointed though because that was a bird that was sitting up there and I didn't model that <laughs> so anyways uh, I wanted to show you guys this I thought it was pretty cool so let me uh, let me show you this real quick so if we go into export and where is it at come on pull down really there it is that's why I couldn't see it because I, I couldn't find it. Um, so this is the IFC model. Um, so the IFC model is what, and you look, it says export, uh, export drawings into the industry foundation class file format, um, IFC model. So I'm pretty sure this IFC is gonna come into pretty much anything. So when you look at this, um, that IFC model will also go into, I wonder what I did with it. Um, let me find it over here. It'll also go into um, terminal access. So I'm just, you got to think outside the box a little bit on some of this stuff, but if we go and look at terminal access, um, access emulators, um, terminal access 2020.01, I haven't downloaded the 2020. Um, Boat lift model, open, there it is. So I was actually able to bring this into Trimble Access so I can bring it into my data collector. So I'm guessing if I wanted to, I could lay this out from this model. If for some reason, somebody had a 3D model, a BIM drawing or something like that, and they ask you if you can lay it out, yeah, you can. You can lay it out right from the data collector. So, um, I haven't tried to do anything with it, you know, count points or anything else. But here's what I am going to do. I'm going to put this drawing, if you look on the Google Drive of this video that I did, if you look right down here, this Google Drive has the job file and, um, and the related file folder. So you could bring this into Trumbull Business Center if you wanted to. Um, that, uh, I put that on that Google Drive. I didn't tell you guys about it. Guess I expect you to look at the notes. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyways, so I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to put the DWG and I'm going to put the IFC model in the Google, same Google Drive so you guys could go and pull that information out as well. So um, I will copy that over there and uh, give you guys access to all of it. And if you need a, there again, if you need a copy of Trimble Business Center, you want a demo copy for 30 days, just holler at me. I'll give it to you. Uh, surveying with Robert at gmail.com. So, got a lot of good stuff going on. Like I said, fix and build a video on this R12i. That's pretty interesting. If you haven't seen how well these R12s work, you need to. You need to get a demo, get them checked out. Because, um, you know, it's funny. I, I talk about this a lot to my customers and everything, but we surveyors, we see the money that goes out of our pocket, but we don't see the money that goes back into our billfold. And if this can save you two or three hours of traversing to get that shot, I wholeheartedly believe you need to have this in your arsenal. Uh, you know, um, old saying, I think I've, maybe I've told you guys before, speed, cost, how fast you want to go. That's it. These things are expensive. Make no mistake. You know, we do, we try to do different things like um, promos and this, that, and other to try to make it less expensive for you guys. So we can kind of go apples to apples with our competition. But um, nobody can touch that thing right now. That thing has been amazing. I've got customers that are just floored at how well they work. So get a demo. Check them out. I, I think you guys really be tickled with it. So anyways, get away from that. Drawing. Google Drive. All that good stuff. So guys, be safe out there. It's been hot. We had two hurricanes come into the Gulf, so <laughs> it's 2020, man. I don't know what day yet. This has been one heck of a year. So anyways, you guys, uh, be safe. And uh, as always, like and subscribe. Help me out. Um, we're headed towards 4,000 subscribers on this channel, so uh, we are starting to be a force to reckon with. I promise you that's how I got this receiver, was going to Trimble and saying, hey, I want to do a YouTube video. They're starting to listen to me a little bit more. So you guys really need to uh, just keep liking and subscribing these. And uh, that'll push me a little bit farther down the road. So anyways, guys, 
God bless. Love you guys. Really appreciate your support. Um, I haven't been able to get to some of the comments the last two weeks. I have been just absolutely slammed. This is Saturday about lunchtime. Um, and I've got to work on that video. And I've got a bunch of other stuff I need to do. Not to mention my honeydews, right? So i got 40 acres. i got to mow and brush hog and feed critters and all kinds of good stuff. So, guys, God bless. Be safe. Love you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I sure appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.